want you guys to see Lira's reaction when she sees her dad. How crazy is this? And she doesn't do this with me. Oh my god. He's not going anywhere. Relax. <laughs> okay, go. Go. Bye. Bye. Go. guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i have a very special guest for you guys you guys already know who it is so drum roll please for her first debut first special appearance drum roll drum roll drum roll <laughs> can you guys see her too short it's Leroo. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. I know you can't see anyone, baby, but just say hi. Just go with it. So this is my first guest on my channel. My first ever guest to make an appearance on my channel, guys. So please give her a warm. Yes. 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 Please give her a warm welcome. I love you too. <laughs> Please give her a warm welcome because she'll be here to share her experience with nursery. Yes. Yeah, are you ready to talk? Huh? <laughs> Not yet, hey? Yeah, I shall be here to share her experience at nursery. And I'll also be sharing my experience with, because you guys remember in my last video where i was doing a, a story time i was talking about how i didn't have a helper and how she was going to start nursery so this is just going to be a follow-up on uh, my experience and how i've been finding it and all of that so without wasting time let's get to it guys so yeah as you guys know she started nursery i think it was late in late jan yeah and um yes yes Yes, baby. And she. <laughs> yeah. How has it been like? Huh? Have you been enjoying it? She's really been. She's fine. She's been finding it okay. Um, we haven't had any experiences where she was sick because of crash, or where when we dropped her off in the morning she cried and all of that. So she's been finding it fairly well. Um, and I mean we can also. Did you drop it? Sorry. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> we can also tell from her um, her yeah. development as well. Yes. We can tell from her development as well, you know, that she's learning and she's catching on very quickly. Yes, baby. Guys, my baby is such a talker and I don't know who she takes after because we are both very reserved and not so talkative i don't know where she uh, who she takes after but yeah like i was saying um she's been doing well she she sings quite a lot which i gather it's from the nursery that they the nursery rhymes that they're singing in school and <laughs> yes she can count to 10 obviously she can't say the words but i mean the um, the idea of the counting is is actually there and um oh she's sitting down I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys can see her if she's sitting down she's too short yes and she knows her body parts um guys there's someone outside, <laughs> outside that she's seeing so that's why she's waving because the window curtain is open for good lighting so she's wa she's waving at someone but that lady can't see her unfortunately you can wave here at the camera you can wave here, say hi, hi, yeah, at the camera, <laughs> hi. So yeah, she's been doing very well. So I also wanted you guys to see how she's been doing. Don't think I'm lying to you, you know, uh, when I say that Krish has been, has been treating her very good and uh, she's developing and all of that. So I'm going to show you guys and um, well, Leroux is going to demonstrate to you guys what she's been learning. In the past few weeks we actually got her report when the term ended and she's it was it was fairly good we were satisfied with it and 
the one thing i love about that school or the nursery is the fact that they have a like a communication book which every single day they tell you exactly what they were doing and what baby was doing how she behaved and uh what, what went on throughout the day which is really great because then you can get to actually see what they get up to so let me show you guys what Lurua has been learning um so Lurua, how are you oh i love you too okay so so show them how smart you are baby ruby ruby show me your head good job baby yay clap for yourself you are so smart ruby show me your ears <laughs> well done now show me your eyes where your eyes your eyes your eyes your eyes where your eyes yeah 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 good job <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who's that? Okay, show me your nose. Your nose. Your nose. <laughs> okay, guys, that's her dad. She's actually seeing her dad from outside the window. That's why she's so excited. And she doesn't get that excited when she sees me. Now she's gonna start crying. These babies. Okay, show show them your nose. Your nose? Where's your nose, baby? Where's your nose? Where's your nose? Show me your nose. <laughs> okay, now she's anticipating seeing her dad, guys. <laughs> What's going on? I thought we were having fun. I thought we were having fun. Okay, guys, I think that's her cue. I'm gonna let her go um, to her dad and then I am actually gonna continue by myself. Say bye then. Say bye. Bye until next time. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys, I want you guys to see Lira's reaction when she sees her dad. How crazy is this? And she doesn't do this with me. Oh my god. He's not going anywhere. Relax. <laughs> okay, go, go. So, guys, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to continue this video by myself because as I told you, Lirua saw her dad and she went crazy and yeah she just prefers being with her dad over me and I can't do anything to stop that unfortunately and I was not expecting her dad to come back this quickly um, as well that's why I started filming but unfortunately he did and yeah Lirua is gone so I have to find a day where I know that her dad is gonna be gone for a while so that I can film with her in peace until the end of the video um, so yeah I'm gonna continue alone unfortunately so where i left off I was talking about how she's really um caught on with what they do at nursery i think she's coming back i can hear her calling back in here so i hope that <laughs> she won't mind joining me again come 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 <laughs> she seems quite excited to be back here so let's see how it goes come 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 baba come where were we Rui? where were we hmm? i was asking you to point to your nose show me where your nose is show me where your nose is good job guys did you see that oh my god at 14 months old where's your mouth where's your mouth take out your finger where's your mouth where's your mouth where's your mouth <laughs> Good job! And where's your tummy? <gasps> oh, you are so smart! Well done, baby. Okay, now let's sing your favorite song. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Guys, don't mind my singing. With a great big hug. <laughs> and a kiss from me to you. Bye. <laughs> Won't you say you love me too? Yay! Good job! Good job, baby! So yeah, guys, as you can tell, she's really learning and um, I know like, that's like two things that we've done, but I mean, 
there's quite a lot of things that she can do and which we're really impressed with so we are not complaining at the moment the only thing though that i am really finding a challenge i mean i've sort of adjusted into it but the one thing that was a struggle in the beginning um understandably so do you want to go down okay the one thing that was a challenge in the beginning um understandably so was the getting ready in the morning it was hectic because there's literally no helper in the home so it means i need to get ready and then when i'm done i need to get her ready however i do give her i do give her butts in the evening so she, before she goes to bed so that in the morning it's quite easy i just wipe her face and change her nappy and then i just change her into her clothes before we leave in the mornings but i mean that's really been hectic and the fact that also she has to wake up in the morning is so heartbreaking sometimes but i think she's gotten into the routine as well and um because when she gets to crash then she can have breakfast and then um go to bed another thing that has really really been draining me is the traffic to get to crash guys it's literally a nightmare Crash is literally 2.5 kilometers from where we live, but it takes us 30 minutes on a good day to get to Crash. It's really insane. And by the time we drop her off, I'm like already so frustrated when I think about the drive from Crash to the office, which is still a distance. But um, I've, I've gotten used to it as well. And I think also seeing her transition into that routine so easily, has really given me the comfort to also be um okay with it in a way so yeah it's really been it's really been hectic but it's been worth it i suppose and it's been yeah it's been we've seen the difference but also another thing that i think yeah i'm still battling with is on weekends then it means i have to do the laundry her laundry our laundry and then clean the house and you know so in the near future definitely considering getting a helper that's gonna help us around the house um for now only looking into a helper that's gonna help us only during weekends because during the week is not gonna make sense financially to have a helper and send her to crash you know and i mean there's no one in the house anyway so it's just a matter of me coming back home when i'm tired still having to cook and tidying up around the house where it needs to be uh, but most of the time i do the tidying before bed because when lirua comes back from school and we come back from work then she turns this whole house upside down i have to wait for her to go to sleep first and then tidy up the house and only then can i you know um really be settled but yeah other than that otherwise at least she sleeps throughout the night um so it makes it a bit easier because then we can get the rest that we need in the mornings at least we're not tired when we wake up so that that part is really not that bad unless i mean if she's sick or um which she has been recently and we haven't really been getting enough rest at night because she's really been sick and at night when she's coughing she had a cold so at night when she's coughing it gets really uncomfortable for her and then she wakes up um and then she starts crying and then obviously we need to attend to her and make sure that we settle her back to sleep because yeah sleep training doesn't work when your baby is sick i don't know any moms that have maybe a formula that they can share with me but yeah i found that it's been difficult with leaving her to be which i do on a normal night when she's okay i just leave her to be and then if she cries then i just let her be until she soothes herself and then goes back to sleep we give her a pacifier and then yeah she just sucks on that and then she will fall back to sleep however it's been very difficult with her being sick trying to achieve that but yeah her cold is settled now and she's the coughing has subsided and the she was sneezing a lot it has stopped as well so at least i'm hoping that this weekend is gonna be a good weekend that we're gonna get the rest that we need and yeah it'll stop and also it's just heartbreaking seeing a little person sick i don't know it's just yeah it's not nice but yeah anyway guys that is that um i mean there's nothing else really that i can share besides the fact that 
I am just winning it, you know, um, in between being a mom, a wife, uh, an employee and a YouTuber, it's really just so hectic, but I'm just winging it and I'm surviving. And as you can see, I look well and that's all that matters, I suppose. On those days when I really need to get a rest, then I will like lock myself in the bedroom and leave her with her dad and I'm like, just sort her out, do whatever you need to do with her, there's food you bathe her anything you know i'm just gonna dash out and take a nap because when you're exhausted you really need to rest so sometimes i do do that for myself but yeah other than that it's really been a crazy roller coaster ride but it's worth it like i said because we're seeing the changes and we're seeing why we, we why uh she goes to nursery we can see the difference actually maybe let me share with you guys her uh, term report and what are some of the things that her teacher said in there about her let me read you some of the things that they said she's achieved well throughout the the four weeks that she's been there so she can share with her friends they said she's achieved that well she's interested in her environment and is aware of her surroundings and and she can also follow basic rules and instructions, which is a good thing. I hope she keeps that up because I cannot say no to a baby a hundred times. If mommy says no, she must listen. Um, and then she enjoys playing outside. Excellent. She won't be on her phone or watching TV the whole day. I hope she also keeps that up because she needs to go play. You know, I was when I was little, I don't know what you call those in English, but she also needs to have that experience. Go outside and play. Accept authority, listen to teacher, react appropriately when reprimanded. Guys, how fulfilling. So all of those things she's achieved well. And then there's like, it's very detailed, but I'm not going to go through the rest of it. Because they share her cognitive development, emotional and social development, her language development, gross motor development, fine motor development. Um, independence and daily life skills but then in general Leroux is a friendly girl with the sweetest smile she's a pleasure to have in my class that's what they said in the report so at least guys we are getting our money's worth so I'm really um, comfortable and yeah content with the nursery that she goes to yeah I think that's I'm gonna end this video here because Leroux is not here I actually wanted her to be a part of the video until the end um, and then I was gonna ask her to sing for you guys and count or talk or because she loves to talk If my phone rings and I pick it up, Blue is the first one to talk guys, she talks So yeah, I was gonna ask her to do all those things but then I suppose she's just not up for it And like I said, I'll get her in one of my other videos where her dad is not around and then it's just the two of us Then I can have her attention to all myself but other than that, that's it with this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please remember to do so. And if you enjoyed this video, like it and then leave me any comments down below. And I will see you on my next video. Ciao!